how difficult it is to correlate the person you thought you are and your ideal personality according to your zodiac. The knowledge of the zodiac sign is a helpful tool in understanding our uniqueness and individuals and with those around us and it helps for a better relationship with our siblings, our parents, our co Hello, welcome to Lovely Aunt and YouTube. Here we deal on a of topics that promote mental health. If you are subscribed, I love you so much. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified each time I upload a video. You are highly welcome to this channel. Be part of this family. The zodiac sign is a system of astrological signs that are based on the position of the sun, moon, and planets at the time of a person's birth. It's based on the position of the sun, the moon, and the planets at the time of a person's birth, and uh, is said to have unique personality traits and characteristics that are influenced by the astrological elements and qualities associated with their sign. Uh, you know, there are astrological elements associated with each sign. For instance, the Leo personality is um, being symbolized with a lion. So all Leos, male, female, are lionesses. So the zodiac sign is categorized into four groups. The fire sign, the earth sign, the water sign, and the earth sign. Each of the signs is made up of three zodiac personalities so now we are going to look at the zodiac signs just personalities and the unique characteristics and qualities so the first sign of the zodiac personality is the aries the aries is for those born between march 21st to april 19th the astrological element is the ram aries is a fire sign and Arians are known for being energetic, they are adventurous and passionate. They are natural leaders who are always looking for challenge and they are not um, afraid to take risks. They are brave and confident and can be impulsive and impatient at times. So some of the strengths of the Aries, uh, they are confident, they are enthusiastic, they are brave, they are adventurous and they are independent. For their weaknesses, they are impulsive. They are impatient, they are aggressive, they are selfish, and they are quick tempered. So, if your pet month falls between March 21st to April 19th, you are an Aries. Number two sign is the Taurus. Those born between April 20 to May 20. The astrological element symbol is the bull. The Taurus personality is associated with practicality, stability, and sensuality. They are often reliable, they are patient, they are down to earth. And the Aries is an earth sign. So it comes under the um, group earth sign. And these personalities are being grounded, they are practical, they are reliable, they are very determined and hardworking personality so they have a strong appreciation for beauty and luxury so they are always attracted to beauty and the loving luxurious lifestyle some of their strengths they are reliable they are precious they are practical they are determined and loyal for their weaknesses they are stubborn they are possessive they are materialistic they are lazy they are inflexible personalities third sign is the Gemini. The Gemini is an air sign and is for those born between the months of March 21st to June 28. These personalities are known for being versatile, they are sociable, they, uh, their curiosity is top notch, they are great communicators, always eager to learn and explore new things so they can be indecisive and easily distracted at times but they are also witty and adaptable. So some of the strengths of the Gemini, they are versatile, they are curious, they are sociable, they are witty and they are adaptable. For their weaknesses, they can be very indecisive, they are superficial, they are anxious.
pictures they are unreliable and they are very manipulative so if you have a partner you have a sibling you have a colleague you have a co-worker who has a problem with indecision um, always anxious curious unreliable just know he or she might be under the sign the fourth sign is the cancer the cancer is uh, symbolized with the crab and is associated with sensitivity the cancer is associated with sensitivity the cancer is a water sign and this personality is uh, good at emotional intelligence they have a nurturing ability they are often empathetic intuitive and protective so they have a very strong desire to create a safe and a secure home environment they just want people around them to be safe they can be moody and defensive at times but also they are very loyal and, and very supportive so some of their strengths are nurturing they love to nurture they love to nurture things, they are protective, supportive, they are intuitive and they are very loyal. Well, some of their weaknesses, they are moody, defensive, clingy, manipulative and passive, aggressive. So the fifth sign in the zodiac is the Leo personality. The Leo personality is a fire sign and is for those who bet moons first between July 23rd and August 27th. The astrological symbol or element is the lion. So Leos are known for being very confident, very charismatic, creative. They love to be the center of attention and they have a natural flair for drama and showmanship. I am a Leo, I can tell you. Leos have natural flair for drama. That's their makeup. So knowledge of this about one would actually help you work with them, understand their personality and not to make comparison with others. So Leos um, can be arrogant, they can be stubborn at times, but they are very generous and passionate. So some of the strengths of a Leo's, they are confident, they are creative, they are generous, they are passionate. Their weakness is they are very arrogant and attention seeking, they are stubborn and they can be self-centered. The sixth zodiac personality is the Virgo. The Virgo is an earth sign and is for those born between the months of August 23rd to September 27th. The astrological element or symbol that represents the Virgo is a virgin. They are known for being analytical, practical, and detail oriented. They have a strong work ethic, a very organized and efficient. So, if a boss that is um, not really bossy but have a strong work ethic, you don't have to come late, you don't have to leave work without permission, just know that he may be. A Virgo. They can be critical and they are perfectionist most times, but they are also helpful and conscientious. So, some of their strengths they are analytical, they are practical, they are helpful, they are detail oriented, they are efficient, but their weaknesses they are critical, they are perfectionist, they are anxious, they are judgmental, and they are neurotic. seventh sign of the zodiac is the Libra. Is the Libra. The Libra is represented with the astrological element scales and is an air sign. So for those born between the month of September 23rd to October 22nd, they are known for being charming, they are diplomatic, they are romantic. They have a strong sense of justice and fairness, and they are always striving for balance and harmony in their relationships. This kind of person is always looking for a way to balance and make everything okay in their relationships. They can be indecisive, and they are people pleasers most times, but they are also very gracious and cooperative. So some of the strengths of a Libra is that they are charming, 
they are diplomatic they are romantic they are cooperative and um, they are fair-minded beings for some of their weaknesses that indecision people pleasing superficial they are manipulative and passive aggressive so the eighth sign is the scorpio the scorpio is reputed by the astrological scandal scorpion just from the name and it is for those that are, they were born or are born between the month of October 23rd to November 21st. So, Scorpio is a water sign and is known for being intense, passionate, and mysterious. They have a strong willpower and they are not afraid to delve into the depths of their emotions and their desires. So, they have this intense passion for whatever they do. They can be secretive and vengeful at times, but they are also very loyal and protective. So some of the strengths of the Scorpio personality is they are intense, they are passionate, they are mysterious, they are loyal, they are brave. For some of their weaknesses, they are possessive, they are generous, they are controlling and secretive. The night sign and the zodiac sign is the Sagittarius. It is represented by the astrological symbol Ekha. They are those born between the month of November 22nd to December 22nd. The Sagittarius is a fire sign known for being adventurous, optimistic, philosophical. So they have a love for travel and they are always seeking new experiences and knowledge yet i agree with that because i have a friend who is a sagittarius she's always talking about traveling around the world going around the whole world they can be reckless and tactless at times but they are also honest for some of their strengths optimistic adventurous philosophical honest and open-minded for their weaknesses they are tactless they are restless they are irresponsible they are unreliable and they can be impulsive the tenth sign is the capricorn and is represented by a sea goat so the capricorn is an earth sign and these personalities are known for their ambition and discipline or they can also be prone to pessimism and workaholism. So some of their strengths, ambitious, disciplined, responsible, they are practical, and they are reliable. Some of their weaknesses, they are pessimistic. They are controlling, very rigid, rigid, they are cold, they are materialistic. The eleventh sign is the Aquarius. The Aquarius is an air sign and its astrological element is a water bearer. So astrological is for those born between the months of January 28th to February 18th. Aquarius are independent, they are progressive and they are innovative. They are often described as unconventional and eccentric. They have a strong desire to break free from tradition and social dynamics. Um, some of their strengths, they are independent, they are innovative, they are intellectual, and they are humanitarian. But their weaknesses, they are detached, aloof, unpredictable, rebellious, and emotionally distant. Yes, even in relationship, they still feel very lonely yeah i have a student who is an aquarius she's always on her own. even in the crowd you see her secreting herself even while she's with her friend never participates in, in any collective things like sports so um, so i had to delve into her personality find out from her and discovered she is an Aquarius sign. So the last but not the least sign is the Pisces. Is the Pisces? The Pisces is a water sign, and um, the 
astrological element representing the pieces is the fish two fishes so pieces is associated with empathy intuition and creativity yeah they are always very empathetic so some of their strengths is that they are very creative they are imaginative they are compassionate they are intuitive and they are selfless yeah pieces patients are very selfless but their weakness is that they are escapist yeah moody they are oversensitive they are passive and they are always prone to addiction so the this makes up the 12 zodiac signs slash personality and some of their characteristics so the zodiac sign is a broad topic i am not an astrologer but because this is something that i've known i've been used to and i am someone that reads a lot about personalities and um I have introduced a lot of blessings and knowledge of this zodiac. It helps you to always have a good rapport and relationship with people around you. It can help in the choice of spouses because we are going to come to the com- the signs, the compatibility amongst the signs. So if you know you are not compatible with a particular sign, there is no point being with that person because you're going to end up complaining, comparing. So even at workplace, you have a bossy boss, you have an in colleagues all you can do try to just get their bet month find their bet month their bet day and look up their zodiac and try to match or correlate with the characters and the personalities and their personalities so as to have peace of mind and have a good mental health because if you're in a relationship in a marriage with a partner with weird attitude or some funny attitude or you're with a leo you know they have a flair for drama when the leo is angry the leo can burn down the house but your knowledge of the person being a lioness would tell you oh this is what i should expect is this person angry and it helps you balance this out so all you can do try most how you can to manage the situation or or whatever you can do to pacify so knowledge of helpful instruments really really helpful to to our peace of mind because yes it's not very easy going about getting people's bed dates bed month and studying about them but when we look at um um, the uniqueness of every individual we would come to understand that maybe this person is exhibiting the sign based on their zodiac personalities and there won't be room for us to make comparison or despise those people okay or even avoid them so there are many forms of personality the big fives um, the other personalities the choleric the but the zodiac is general and if you can take your time to check where you belong and try to go through all their matching characteristics maybe you could find out that 60 to 70 percent of the zodiac characteristics matches with whichever birth month or zodiac sign you fall under so if you've watched this video to this point thank you so much if you've not subscribed please subscribe and hit the bell icon on this channel will promote your mental health whatever topic whatever thing is that will bring you peace of mind and promote your health um, health is what we're into so we are still going to check the compatibility <coughs> and the difference with their personalities in relationship in their wide space of topics thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next one